My name is Fidelis Anna Ochuku Okeke. I am from Anambra State. I am a transporter, a fleet owner, owner of AC Transport Company Limited. This is my daughter, a better matter, Okeke. This is my daughter, Amara Martina Okeke. This is my wife also, Martina Okeke. So I am here because of my wife, who is associated and in, uh, with uh, Marin's kingdom, Marin spirit. And uh, these things have taken long. We have been praying over that issue. Even before she came to my house, she told me stories about that issue, how the mother has been taking her to the sea and uh, to the river and appeased them every six months. But when she came, he followed me up in Christianity. But a lot of some time, when things begin to go backwards somehow, especially from 1998. So my wife began to surface herself from praying and coming close to God. Even wherever they gather for prayer, hot prayer, she cannot attend. Revival, she cannot attend. Gathering the children for prayer, she cannot. Since 1998 to today. So, and, uh, so I discovered that the reason why she has been doing that is because of where she belonged. She has been speaking with her master. He said that power, she uses it to defend herself. And uh, so nobody will take her. So whenever we gather for a revival or seminar or any hot prayer, she will not attend. She is an agent of marrying spirit. I don't call which because I understand which are the, the ones that suck blood and bruises and causes bruises on the skin of people. You say what? I say it's an agent of marrying spirit. This or is it a queen in the, in the rivers? Okay, this is your wife. This is my wife. All my prayer partners, we have prayer partners. I attend to church and I'm a Pentecostal. And all my prayer partners who are partner with me, all of them have been seeing her attacking them. And anybody who comes to her house to pray for restoration, she will go in the spirit and warn that person not to come to her house again. That if she dare come again, she will deal with her. Every one of them, even my in-laws, the husband of uh, this, my daughter, so he called us from where she is at Austria and said, what kind of wife, what kind of marriage do I come to your house? She has crippled my business absolutely. From that number of buses I have and trucks, is now only two is now moving. From that hundred and day. Okay. Including How do you know that it's a marine spirit that crippled your business and your vehicle? 100, 150 vehicles disappear. I know that by her statements. Okay. Because not somebody who will then say that money will not come into our house again unless it shall be divided by three. It shall not spoken to the hearing of anybody until the day we wanted to go for a kind of a fasting and prayer at camp. That was the day she started to vomit this. It means that they have spoken that in their kingdom. And not only that, some is has been saying that the power from birth she is not going to surrender that power. That that power has been, she's defending herself with that power. And that power has made her impregnable. Apart from uh, what she's saying, that is, this is that, did, did, did you have any revelation in the past concerning uh, a spirit that is a mummy water or agent of Satan is a mummy spirit or whatever? Do you have any revelation and also the revelation concerning the business that crumble? I have not gotten revelation concerning her, but what we are seeing in the lateral and the physical, what we are seeing in the physical and her confession also. In the her confession, he has never ceased to confess that anybody he has caused me four times and they happened then. Okay. But not now. Even if it cost me last two months, but that would cost did not come to my face because I have grown up. I have grown up power. Have you presented this to your prayer partner and your people, and they pray over it, and it was confirmed that it's a witch or whatever? We have prayed and counter prayed, and the same confirmation we are having that she is a marine agent. I usually go to prayer, prayer, so, some other prayer places. 
uh, used to go to prayer places and uh, rifle prayer places, born again Christians, which have been praying with me. Apart from my own immediate prayer partners, all of them are saying the same thing. And my daughter here also, her prayer partners are saying the same. Okay. All your prayer partner, no one ever say is they say opposite. All of them say the same thing. It's just the same thing all of apart from one man who has is not seen. That one is not a seer. <laughs> Okay, apart from the man that is not a seer, that says it's oh, not a wish. Oh, yes, others have been inviting and saying that she'll call my wife. Even if I tell her to come and meet, then she will not come. And uh, so there are many things I have to substantiate this uh, uh, allegation. Okay, Even I wrote them about 24 points. You would like me to read from my book. I'm having them here. Recently, she went somewhere for prayers. After she returned, it came with a result, something, a write-up. It showed me that particular write-up. What was written there, I think 32 points of prayer against this, prayer against this. When she returned this particular one, she returned, uh, the player he attended, he gave me the, this. Before my friends, who is here, who is even, who is not, which I can call the numbers now, she told us that we should look for deliverance for her, a place to deliver herself. Because she had discovered she is the cause of all these things. Even the, the own progressiveness that goes around, touching her children also. She said, because she left the kingdom, their kingdom, and they began, began to fight her. So that she should go and appease that, uh, that people. Okay. So that I think it's all right. Let's hear from your daughter. My name is Ebere Martha Okeke. I'm from Anambra State in Nigeria. We are here for my mommy's deliverance and also deliverance for restoration in my family. By the special grace of God, I was born into a very wealthy home when I grew up, but when, when we start growing, with, with things start going down and down and down and all that. So we, we changed church and start attending Pentecostal, and, and she's my mother, he's my father, he's my sister, the other one is my sister, and the other one is also. Then, while we are all praying with some of the prayer partners, they all tell they all said that my mom is possessed with marine spirit and we have been praying for God's deliverance in her life which is which is not really working we keep seeing things going on and all that so that this place in Enugu a man of God there I went to visit him he said where is your mother I told him and everything he said your mother is I think it's Lagos and all that so to call short story or said my mother wants me to represent her in the kingdom of marine i said me no never i can't do that so after then i came back i told my dad because i cannot i thought this is i'm saying now she this is our third time of hearing it because because we came here i don't want to tell we have been praying for god's deliverance but when we keep praying for the for the deliverance for god to to deliver her things begins to you know happen when our prayer partners when they finish praying when they go to their various home attacks even there is a prayer that's been held in my in my house every friday I, I, I didn't know how it just stopped. Who is your mom by your prayer and by your prayer partner? By our prayers, people tell us that she's a queen in Marine Kingdom. And my own revelations, I see her coming to attack me. Like before I got married, I saw her in the dream. Why she said, a better, you cannot get married. So I, was, I just passed her and I heard a voice that said, this is cool, so we better you know, do something. So I went, to, I went back to her and said, you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. And before that revelation, I've already told them that I'm no longer interested in this marriage stuff. By my revelation, I understood that she's into marine, uh, she's into marine kingdom. Since when? I don't know, but I know that in her place, according to all the stories we have been hearing, that is from her mother. And the thing has affected our lives. And the kind of prayers I, we offer, because you say that I know that we can pray for our enemies. So the prayer we offer is die. Anything eh? attacking your life, die. You, so, you pray, die. Anything attacking your life, die. That is the kind of prayer we pray. We don't pray God should have mercy on our so enemies. You have been praying this die this year since when? Okay, last year, after I made such a prayer, 
she came out from her room and she stopped breathing and something just stopped her here after i prayed and anointed everywhere she just passed and something came here and when she took when they took her to the hospital she called my dad and said that the prayer that i prayed and my father prayed and one woman of god prayed is affecting her that if she dies that this that that we prayed that that while we are that we three of us three of us pray die for her and if anything happens to her and daughter okay the prayer die 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 is it against your mother you are doing that prayer? against the marine spirit whosoever it is die who is your mom she she is into marine kingdom okay is is the, this, same, the, the spirit is the spirit we are praying so if she was if, if the prayer start attacking that if she wants you know at times she will be attacked and she says she's going for prayers or some or something so if the prayer start and let her um you know come out from that um my marine kingdom because this is affecting our lives my husband even he's having a problem right now he called me on phone and said what kind of and all that okay okay so i take it easy my name is amaro keke from anamira state this is my mother and these are my this is my father and these are my sisters this is my mom this year my mom told me personally that she is a crocodile i was with her in the room we were discussing she said that she's a crocodile. She was bragging that she's a crocodile. That, as in she said it in Igbo, that she's Agum Mili, so which means a crocodile. As in she was bragging, in, as in that day. So apart from that, I've seen her in my dreams. In That's, your dream? Yes. I saw her. You were the one delivering her in that dream, and she was kind of like confessing. Who was delivering her? You, sir. You were kind of like de delivering her, and she was confessing. She said that... In that dream she was confessing she said that the whole favor that is going to come into my family that she has packed it she was demonstrating it that she has packed it and and that she has sat upon it even my sister's husband's present condition that she's responsible she's also responsible for that so so many things like a mother and daughter's conversation i don't do with her as i don't tell her about anything even if i'm having suitors okay. i don't tell her okay simple who is your mother she's a marine as she's 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 blessed. she is in the marine kingdom she is possessed with marine spirits okay what she's is a it? queen even the way our prayer what is the said. work of this marine what are they doing they destroy they are here for destruction okay they, they want to destroy they can never see good I things coming when they see favor coming they will stand on the way that is in, they are the stumbling block they yeah. don't want favor have you seen in revelation that your mommy has started destroying your home that, was, that dream was the one that i had recently but i can't really remember whatever that I happened said, have you seen uh, your mommy anything your mommy have started destroying no i have not seen her in that dream okay but your father said but uh, my siblings the way, the way, wherever they are they are not they are not progressing they are not progressing you understand but your father said he destroyed the business and all that yes is their work to do such a thing even our prayer partners say that that they are the one this they, they just want to destroy everything okay you want to say something my name is amaka okeke i'm the fifth child of my parents well what i have to say in this thing is that um i just want peace in my house i just want god to i just want god to restore peace with my father and my mother What can you say about your mom? Uh, well, uh, my sister, that's Ebere, she, uh, she, has, uh, she has been telling me that my mother is from the marine world. Do you believe that? I don't believe in such things, but if actually it's true, I, 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 I really want my mother to be delivered. But you believe there is satanic agents? Yes, according to the Bible, yeah. Okay. But you don't believe that your mommy is one of them? No. You don't believe? So you don't believe your mommy is... No, that's what the pastors, the prophets, the prophets are saying. They have said it. They've, they've, they've said it. 
But for me, for me, I don't really believe by them saying that kind of thing, maybe to destroy families. That's what I feel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One thing I forgot to say is that my wife has been boasting, saying always that she is a root from the waters. So I have other points, but let me just stop here. Okay. So that the man of God will judge. I personally invited them here because why we came here is because, because I want God to deliver her from that kingdom. Okay, okay. My name is Martina Okeke okay, from Anambra State. This man beside me is my husband. The other one is the, my second daughter. This one is my, my last baby. And this one is my fifth child. The other one is our close friend. Uh, they are telling me the uh, prophecy against me that I'm a mommy water and a this. They used to call me this and that every day. Till one day I told them that yes, I'm a crocodile. Every day they, they used to uh, abuse me, embarrass me. Uh -huh. I told her that yes, I'm a crocodile. Uh -huh. they, who are the people that used to call you crocodile? These three persons only. Because I have seven children. So they, children. they used to call you crocodile? Yes. Coming to my, this, uh, uh, this little one here, Amara, Martina, is follow follow to Ebele. It's all right. You have, I've listened to you people. Any ministers of God, that will stand to say a person is a witch or wizard and is unable to deliver such a person. It means it's not talking of God. God always given us a package, a package that contains question and answer. She never liked to attend any hot prayers. Yeah? Any prayer that is hot for. Any hot prayer she cannot attend. Hot revival she cannot attend. They do invite her. Even last year she was invited by uh, one, uh, one uh, reading Christian uh, uh, woman minister to come and deliver her. She agreed to go. Later she did not. She said, I won't go. They won't do me anything. All of them are inviting her to come, but she doesn't want to attend. Okay. Now, is he here today? Amen. Amen. I say he's here. Amen. Now he's here. Amen. Okay. Why you have not been following your husband to ministers of God that tell you are a crocodile? He say you don't used to follow him. Okay. Because he don't want to stand one place he used to go to many churches warehouses many places going to um, those um, uh, mushri places this man took me to the river and king ram and the pigeon and bathed me after that he took me again when we are looking for a baby boy the uh, the, uh, the pastor there said i should give them my pants brown and everything i submitted to them Okay, you want to say something? Praise the Lord. Man of God, what I understand by my mom not following them is because most of them will come and say, she is. So how do you expect her psychologically to go there? And most of them can't even say, okay, let me come and meet her and talk to her one-on-one -on -one so I can get her delivered. So that is the more reason she doesn't want to follow because I have visited her in Divine Majesty. I have visited her in the Lord's choosing. Then the current adoration that is holding on in Onisha, she always go there. Yeah. Give me your hand. Take, take it easy, sir. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah, sir. Please. Hallelujah, sir. Take it easy. Take, take it easy, sir. I want to join your family. Okay? I want to join your family, and we want to hear from God. Look. Your wife. 
has a chronic headache. That is affliction, chronic headache. You know, headache can mean for somebody to be having chronic headache, it can cause depression. And when depression comes, there's nothing you cannot say. She's a woman that said what she's, she, she's not in, in her heart. She's confessing what she is not in her heart. All what she's saying that is crocodile, is a snake, is this, that. There is nothing like that. I allow you people to speak because I want everybody to pour their heart. This woman, she's only saying things that she's not. Like I have said, a man can be a Christian by profession and not such in heart. This confession of things, which you understand confession and believe in heart, Many people say, you will see, you, you, you will see, I will deal with you. At that moment, the person will cross and the mother will kill the person. People that are there will say, ah, that man say, he say he will deal with him. Now he has deal with him. Whereas he only is confessing this, is not having anything like that in the heart. So your wife is not a wish, it's not a python, it's not a crocodile. You should know your wife. She has her temper. When the thing come upon her, there's nothing she cannot say. Satan just allowed this to destroy your family, to bring this unity to the house. What I want to say now, I want to join your family. Right now, your two daughters, please, can you give a hug to your mom? Be on your knee for your mom. Be down for your mom. I'm coming. We can see that reconciliation is going on right now. As a man of God, I declare the family free. That the woman, the problem she's only having is chronic headache and, and spirit of anger. Vous continuez de garder votre écran. Nous allons entendre l'histoire de cette famille où cette femme a été accusée d'avoir l'esprit marin. C'est une reine de la mer par ces deux jeunes filles qui étaient à côté du père. Les trois accusaient cette femme d'être dans le royaume de la mer. L'homme de Dieu a dit qu'elle a souvent des maux de tête qui fait qu'elle est déprimée aussi, qui fait qu'elle a confessé des choses. This my last and fifth daughter here. I mark her name. She took her to what house uh, to initiate her just recently to what house spirit physically they're not spiritual physically ask her she took her to what house spirit and initiated her there with the sister with the sister she said she said she has come out he said he belonged to sea the one he belonged to is not this kind of sea that the one i see she told us very clearly hearing of the children that she does not belong to this uh mama spirit of this uh, uh river uh, river niger she said then she has come at the hearing of all the children. Okay. Uh, can I speak to you? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, man. There are many things concerning you because with respect and honor, I will not stand in public to say. Yes. What you are saying now, you are talking of wrong. Wrong is different from witches and wizards. If you mention the wrong of your wife, I have also your wrong. I can measure here. Everybody need deliverance, including you, sir. I need deliverance, yes. I need also. I need deliverance. If I had been all right, these things could have not been because I'm very prayerful. Okay. Let, 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 let's put it this way. If I cannot deliver you, you will deliver me today. <laughs> Regardez votre écran, la réconciliation est en train de prendre place. Voyons l'homme de Dieu. 
essayer de réconcilier le mari et la femme. Le mari, l'homme de Dieu a aussi dit que le mari a besoin de délivrance, que tout le monde a besoin de délivrance, qu'il cesse de blâmer sa femme pour ses problèmes. Elle a été déclarée libre complètement. Escuchamos el caso de, este, de esta familia, el cual la madre fue acusada de falsamente de ser bruja. You want to join your family? Yes. You're a good man, okay? No matter what happened, he's a good man, okay? Something happened somewhere, and after deliverance, and everybody go through this deliverance, you will see what I'm talking about. He's a good man, but something happened somewhere. Satan is a liar. I will call it affliction. It's an affliction. So please. Okay? Give me your hand. Thank you. Thank you for following your friend here. You know this your wife has been pillar of your business. You know that. She, 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 that is true. She has, she has been trying. Then. Not, not trying. Then I said, then. Not try. His initiative actually helped you to become what you were before. Uh, that is true. Huh? That, that is true. In short. She has been trying. Okay, can you, can you, can you please hug your mom? Please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes, the woman has been declared innocent of being a marine spirit and a crocodile. And reconciliation has come in Jesus' name. Acabamos de ver la reconciliación de esta familia, de que la mujer fue acusada de ser del espíritu marino. Pero hoy ha sido esta reconciliación, podemos verlo. Bueno, la reconciliación en directo. Le lieu de demander a ces deux filles de demander pardon a leur mère. Le lieu de voir le mari embrasser sa femme a preuve qu'ils ont pardonné tout ce qui s'est passé dans le passé. Ils sont maintenant une nouvelle famille. Satan see a wonderful family and Satan want to destroy the family. Thank you. You are my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's the OKK family joining hands, joyfully reconciled, the husband and the wife. You can see them walking together up the stairs. Devant la famille OKK, marcher maintenant réconcilié. The song says, what the law has done together, no one should put us on that. Satan came out to you. Satan shame on to you, our power belongs to Jesus. Satan shame on to you, our power belongs to Jesus. Oh shame, shame, shame on to you, our power belongs to Jesus. Satan shame on to you, our power belongs to Jesus. Oh Satan shame on to you. After their reconciliation during the Sunday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, it is a fresh beginning for the Okeke family as they board the bus and together make their way to the prayer mountain of the Synagogue Church of All Nations to thank God for restoring and reconciling their home. They have arrived and one by one the Okeke family alight from the bus and enter the prayer mountain. As they walk down the steps onto the prayer ground, they smile and wave their hands in appreciation to God as the hurts, accusations and enmities of many years are forgotten. Jesus Christ, the repairer and restorer, has reunited them. God has written us into an unprecedented revolutionary story of reconciliation in which hostilities are destroyed and enemies become friends. Unto the Lord, be the glory, praise be to the Lord.
If a couple cannot experience the saving power of our Lord Jesus Christ and the transformation of the inner self, they cannot enjoy the freedom and joy that Christ came to give. After praying together as a family, Mr. and Mrs. Okeke enter a prayer hut to take time out to rejoice together in the presence of God and commit their marriage into His hands. The evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed. Let's listen to them as they share their testimonies. We are members of Okeke family. My name is Fidelis Okeke, the head of the house. The person sitting, sitting by my left is my dear wife. To my right are my dear children, my daughters. One of the great things that brought us into Synagogue of All Nations is to seek for a solution, something that we have sought for for quite a long time and there is no solution. We are privileged to come to the core of that problem and had a solution. We have been so under suspicion several times against my wife that she was responsible of the evil things befalling our company and our homes. We are, we are suspecting her to be possessed with marine spirit. During the uh, uh, short service, the man of God averred made a declaration that my wife is not possessed with evil spirit. It is a vindication unto her, and uh, we thank God for that. The families have accepted that verdict because that thing has cured our animosities. It has cured us from the scene of malice. It has cured us from the scene of backbiting and murmur and hatred. Breakthrough has come today in God's intervention. Every lost glory of this family is absolutely now restored. And we are highly thankful to God who has brought us somebody like T.B. Joshua, a man of God, a man that is a, has a very good reputation. May God add more years and give him longevity in Jesus' name. <laughs> My name is Martin Okeke. The man beside me is a, my husband, my darling husband. Others are my, uh, my, my children. We came here today to pray and thanking God. The whole things I said at, uh, at last is in the past is a uh, out of annoyance. So I don't mean it. I'm now with my children, my husband, thanking the man of God for what he has done to us. My name is Ebero Keke. Everyone here present here are my family members. We are here now to thank God for what he used Prophet T.B. Joshua to say in the service yesterday, proving that my mother is innocent of the accusation. And I also thank God that in this ministry, this ministry has also taught me that when you want to pray, you pray for mercy for your enemies. I've learned so much and today man of God has reconciled our family. Nobody has settled this kind of matter for us before. At least we have been to so many places but nothing was resolved and it was just the way fire was coming up but immediately we came here fire did what quenched. To God be the glory. I thank God today that we are reconciled and she will eat the fruit of her labor. I love you, mommy. <laughs> My name is Amoro KK. I'm the last baby of the house. Um, actually, I actually want to thank God for his love and his blessings upon our life, for what he has done in our lives, and how he has used the prophet T.B. Joshua to, you know, reveal everything to us for the reconciliation and for the peace in our family.
talk and uh, joy in my family. And I want to give advice to the Philip people out there that if you are having this kind of problem, God has the final say. I believe we give you the final say. Amen. Amen. And I also want to thank Prophet T.B. Joshua. Oh. I really thank you. I'm so, so happy. I'm so, so happy. I'm extremely happy. May God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My advice is that let's apply wisdom in everything we do in this life. We should use wisdom. We shouldn't just say, eh, this is this, this is this. And at the end of the day, it might not be the real thing. And then problem has already, you know, started. So I advise people that we should turn on to God. Be with God. Come closer to God. God is the author and finisher of our faith. God is the, only, is the final solution. When you are not at peace with your family or friends or your partner, please go to God. Go to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the final boss top. To everyone watching us right now, God has settled us. And I pray also that whosoever has this type of kind of problem or any kind of problem should first of all go to Jesus and he will solve it for you. Father, we thank you. Mighty God, we thank you. The ancient of days, we thank you. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.